Okay, y'all, here is the before of this pantry. Yikes. So, uh, <laughs> okay, in my defense, I just rearranged a few cupboards and this was not like this and a lot of this stuff was not like this. It's just, I re rearranged yesterday and just kind of shoved everything in here knowing I had to rearrange it. For the most part, it has looked very well maintained from my first video that I showed you about my pantry. Um, so this is a new container that I got and so are all of those up there. And they are the reason that I need to redo my pantry because I don't know where to put them. Um, this is our paper towel holder. I also have a couple cookbooks that go here. This hot chocolate was something that I found when I um, did my organizing project. And this little berry basket holds um, some mason jar lids and I need to find a spot for those. So yes. Um, and then this is where we keep any bread products and some overflow things. This totally needs to be kind of retaken care of. There's actually, in the back is another glass mason jar and a jug of pop. I think we've had that, gosh, I don't know, since the fall. Um, we don't drink that stuff, but we thought we might need it for like a party or something or the holidays and we just never used it. So I don't know. And then, um, this is kind of our overflow pantry, everything behind these bins. So, yes. Those are some candies I don't want my kids to see right now. Um, and the rest of my coffee filters, I will pull those out. Um, but everything else is pretty much all cleaned out. I'm gonna go ahead and get some cleaner and I am going to wipe out the shelves. So this is the cleaner that I'm using. This is doTERRA's On Guard. It is just a bit of a um, concentrate within this bottle and then the rest is filtered water so this is an essential oil blend it's totally natural and I feel really comfortable using this around my food and then I'm also using a microfiber cloth this is from fly lady and these cloths are amazing so I'm just gonna actually spray onto my cloth and then get into the cupboard Total panic when you're like, I don't know how to organize all this.
few days later and I'm gonna go ahead and share with you what the pantry looks like I kind of wanted to live with it a few days to make sure that the system was actually still gonna work and it's working beautifully so let me show you Okay, so not a lot has really changed from the initial time that I redid my pantry. The system actually really works for me. However, I realized I can't change the system until I actually purchase new shelves. So my idea is to actually get a few more shelves from Ikea and make the space in between shorter so that I can turn these baskets on their sides and pull them out more like drawers and I will um, I'd love to have a let's see I'd love to have a um, one whole shelf just dedicated to my glass jars I am hoping to find more of these at Costco and um, we only got two packs of them and we were in a different town when we got them uh, and I haven't found them at my Costco yet so I'm still hoping that they come but my perfect world would be to get um, another two sets and just use them all across one shelf so on the top I still have my baking supplies and behind is the pasta and rice so these are overflow items. This is kind of like my deep pantry storage, sort of. Um, I am not reaching into any of these baskets on top here at all, <laughs> except if I'm running, if I've run out of something. And then I will pull from something that's in these baskets and put it into my regular rotation. We've got a roll of paper towels here, and these are vitamins in this container. And then I have got um, an empty jar, um, and then I put my coffee in the one in the back and then some other goodies there and then I just had this little berry basket here and I've put these mason jar lids in there because my um, my drawers are too full and I can't fit those in so they are good there so on the next shelf the canned goods I do reach into that fairly often a couple times a week so that's really easy and accessible and the fruit and nuts so there's some canned fruit and if we have any little nut products that we'll eat quickly. If there are nuts that we don't plan to eat for a while, um, they will go in the freezer for storage. So this little area in the front, this has kind of changed. Um, I used to have a basket here with all my coffee supplies and that went into a different cupboard. So I have this basket here and I've got some koozies, um, my straws, and... These are my water enhancers. I love these. If you are in Canada, these are so good. They are sweetened with stevia. I've got some gum here. I have just used these little baskets. Um, this blue basket is something from the Target dollar spot and they make really nice dividers. And then just in here, I have got some clips for bags. And then again, I've got pasta and some of my Trim Healthy Mama supplies here in front. I reach for this canister pretty much every morning when I'm making my tea. It's got like sweetener in it, um, but again, this stuff is all right in front. Now on the each of the jars, I've went ahead and I've labeled them. I just used some washi and a sharpie that I just keep in my kitchen command center, and then I'm able to write what is on the back of these. So I'm never confused. I always know what's in there. We're good to go. So on this next shelf, this is where we would put bread. Um, I usually would put it on this tray here. And in there we've got some wraps and some um, cereal and some corn chips and some snacky mix here in the very back. If I have extra bags of anything like snacky stuff, they would all go in the back right there. But we don't really, we don't really have a whole bunch right now. Um, so that's just kind of what is on that shelf. And and down below, I have got dried fruit in here. I use a lot of this for um, making homemade granola bars. And then we've got some fruit cups for the kiddos and extra spices in here. We have a bulk food store in town, and I tend to get a lot of my spices at the bulk store. So when they are too, when I buy too much that um, won't all fit in that container, I go ahead and I stick it in the extra spices. So in the back here I have got extra condiments and this one also has some extra overflow things as well. 
And then on the bottom, I've got two more baskets. This one has some extra almond milk. And then this one has more Trim Healthy Mama supplies. And in the back, we've got more almond milk. We get that from Costco. It comes in um, a big pack. I think you get like eight or six. I'm not sure. But um, so we've got a lot on hand. And then behind, I got the kiddos some craft dinner and I'm hiding it from them. And then there's just another bin back there with more goodies. So I want to share with you the other side of my pantry. And this is stuff that we reach for more on an everyday basis. And then I'm going to show you where I keep my flour and sugar and things like that. Okay, so here is the other side of the pantry. Okay, so on top I've got um, a section for my husband's vitamins. And we've got some nuts here. Um, and these are more of his vitamins and supplements. And down below, we have got some canned goods. So these are things that I get at the bulk store. So I've got long grain brown rice, quinoa, some unsweetened coconut popcorn, coconut flour, peanut flour, um, coconut palm sugar, and then what is that one? Oh, sunflower lecithin. So I love these jars that have the um, chalkboard lid. Those are so great. So then I have a couple of these jars. I actually got these when I got married, so they're about 10 years old. Um, this one's empty right now because I do need to go to the box store, but we put our um, whole wheat pastry flour in here. This middle one has chocolate chips. And then this one has oolong tea. So the whole thing is filled with oolong tea, so it wouldn't really go over in my new tea cupboard very well. Um, it works perfect there. So this is something I'm going to be working on this week. We're going to make some roasted chickpeas So I um, and some other chickpea things, hummus. Uh, so I'm not putting these into a container because I'm going to use them this week. But in these OXO containers, I got these actually at a liquidation store. Um, we've got black beans, and then this one has lentils and this one I think these oh yeah this one has some almonds and then the last one is empty that's where I put our homemade granola bars down below we have some more storage so we've got brown sugar some white sugar this is some spelt flour and then this one is empty and again like with my jars I just use a washi tape and I write what is in these containers on the other side so here's some gelatin, and then we've got a bulk container of pink Himalayan sea salt. And then down here, we've got our oils. So we've got olive oil, avocado oil. My husband really wanted this um, pancake mix from Costco, so we got that. And then a big container of popcorn from Costco as well. So on the other side, I've got these baskets, and we put our onions and garlic in one. And on the other, usually they're turned vertically. Um, but this is a little too big so that's not they're not fitting that way so I just have everything in one but usually there's squash in one um, basket and my onions and garlic in the other so this is what things look like on the other side on the very top we've got um, some organic honey from Costco we've got more almonds um, MCT oil some liquid coconut oil the liquid coconut oil I actually use for essential oil preparations, not necessarily to cook with, but it just makes sense to keep it here in case I do decide. Um, some apple, uh, what is this, red wine vinegar, balsamic vinegar, we've got our big thing of coconut oil back here, and then I also have three jars of raw honey. And then so this is what it looks like on the other side. We've got um, some Trim Healthy Mama um, chocolate milk mix, and some psyllium husk, nutritional yeast, some golden flax. This had raisins in it up until today. And then the bottom one, I don't think there's anything in it. No. But usually I'll put um, some dried fruit. Once I open the dried fruit, I'll usually stick them in these two packages and throw them in like with oatmeal or um, just as a quick little snack for my kiddos. And then in these containers, we actually used to keep cereal in them, but we don't buy cereal anymore. So this one has steel cut oats, and this is quinoa, and then this is just white sugar for when I decide to do baking. And then on the side here, I do have the washi tape telling me what it is. But on things like the quinoa, I just cut out the instructions and tape them onto the container, and same with the steel cut oats. So that way we know how to prepare everything. We don't eat a lot of potatoes, but when we do, we put them in this crock. I actually have sweet potatoes in there now. 
I actually found this table like doing <laughs> someone had set it out in front of a dumpster and I picked it up and I painted it and it just fits right here perfectly under this little area. And finally here on the counter, I have some practical decoration. Um, I keep my white flower in the large canister in the back and we also have wheat flour next to it. I've got a little canister of beans. And I just keep these things here on the counter because they're easy and accessible and they are also pretty. So over here we have got some rye flour, oats, and some, I totally forget how to say it, I think it's masaka flour? It's a, it's a corn flour. I, I can't remember how to say it. But um, everything just lives here on the counters. And then lastly we have this little table here in the middle of the kitchen and this is where we put fresh fruit and vegetables that don't go into the fridge. As you can see we really need to get groceries but um, this is where all of the fruit and veggies live and my little guy was here helping me out in the kitchen and wanted to share with you this little thing he had.